Prepare to level up to a better you. Welcome to Grind, Glam and Games. I am your host, Amina Sine, your guide on this journey where the grind pays off, the glam is irresistible and the gains are within your reach. Hi and welcome back guys to Grind, Glam and Games. Today we are going to be flipping the switch. How to make food your mood. Yeah. Welcome back to another episode of self-discovery and leveling up. Today has been a yummy day, you know, it really has. So today we're going to be looking at how to make food your mood. It sounds weird, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. Well, we are going to, I mean, by the time we're done breaking this down, I'm quite sure it wouldn't be as weird as it sounds. On many occasions, you have heard the cliche phrase, you are what you eat, right? And when I had not understood this yet, it sounded a bit weird and a bit off for me, but until I discovered some things that I'm about to share with you guys. So what we eat can have a significant impact in our emotional and mental well-being. So certain nutrients we eat can affect the production of neurotransmitters in our body. So these are, these are usually linked to feelings of happiness and well-being. Let's break this down, right? Serotonin and dopamine are both feel-good chemicals. You guys know that, Abby. And they send messages to the brain whenever, like, we think of a, or experience any kind of pleasurable thing. You know, when you, when you, um, I would say, like, maybe, I will not say when you yawn, but it's a feeling when you yawn. Anyway, lack of these chemicals play a major role in depression and lack of motivation. Some nutrients, like, um, some nutrients that enhance release of these chemicals include fatty acids and good carbohydrates a balanced diet is also very important you want to turn food into your mood booster it's as simple as mixing up your meal just mix up your menu embrace the color the colors the diverse diet include fruits vegetables and whole grains you know good proteins and good fats that's what you need these tasty varieties serves your body the nutrients it craves for the tip top performance and that translates to you to a higher and happier you trust me the importance of the next point cannot be overemphasized i'm about to crash this party but i love you guys so much i have to give you guys the whole information excessive consumption of sugar and highly processed foods can lead to energy crashes and mood swings excessive fanta coke chocolate whatever you call it can lead to energy crashing and mood swings you know these foods are often high in empty calories and lack essential nutrients so you really don't want to be like eating too much of that i mean you can have a little not just too much i'm not saying you shouldn't i mean you shouldn't have them at all but just be conscious of how much you consume on the last episode we talked about knowing and understanding yourself make sure to check out that episode if you haven't knowing yourself has a role to play in every food consumption some people may experience mood disturbances due to food allergies and, you know, sensitivity, and some of us might not. Identifying and eliminating trigger foods can lead to improved mood and overall well-being. The relationship you have between food and mood can vary from person to person. Some of us may feel certain food makes us feel better, while others may feel differently, you know, because they respond differently to the way they're, they're reacting to the food. So you need to pay attention to how your body reacts to different foods and understanding the best diet for you. Have you guys ever heard of mindful munching? It's all about making your mealtime a sensory delight. You tune into every bite, you heed those hunger fullness signals, and then watch your food fueled happiness soar. It's like having a love affair that leaves you feeling satisfied and happy. It's just simple. That you can, I mean, you can cheat on you, but you've been one cousin that cheated. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And lastly, food is also a way of socializing, as different cultures have varying foods and mixtures. Sharing meals with loved ones and sharing different recipes can also enhance our mood and that can foster a sense of connection and enjoyment. So here's a tasty wrap up. Turning food into your mood boosting body means being the food detective and keeping an eye on what's on your plate. Those nutrient packed delights and become the master of your mealtime vibes. When you've got the food working for you, you are the champion and the captain of your happiness sheet. Sail towards a better quality of life. You guys know what to do. You need to click the like button, subscribe, and share to your friends. You just never know. Someone might just need to kickstart a new face. So I'll catch you guys later. I love you guys.